very basic rules very uh, preliminary rules for doing endoscopic sinus surgery so for the beginners at least for the beginners and the students this is a very important message so this is the checklist for performing endoscopic sinus surgery N rule number one the position head up 30 degree with head in neutral position look at the, this three picture the picture number one uh, pa uh, patient's head is flexed this is the position for the residents and the very beginners why in this position the skull base is far away from the surgeon so very little bit chance of doing csf leakage or entering inside the skull base so this is the safest position here the skull base is the uh, most uh, uh, placed mostly uh, far away from the surgeon then the second position look the extended position the chin is extended on neck head is extended on neck here this position is for the very very advanced surgeon why in this position frontal sinus and the skull base remains very uh, close to the surgeon that means uh, for doing frontal sinus surgery or anterior skull base surgery this position is the uh, main position and position number three here this is the neutral position not flexed not extended in mostly uh, most of the surgeons doing face surgery in this position where all the sinuses are in uh, some sorts of equilibrium not very far not very close to the surgeon and uh, uh, this is the uh, mostly preferred position for the surgeons but for the beginners i would like to say again the position number one is the best because of less chance of injury uh, to the skull base rule number two the telescope should be held like a flute holding the telescope how the telescope should be held it should be held like a flute not grabbing not like this just like this so this is very comfortable position and uh, holding it and the uh, t telescope acts as fulcrum here rule number three the cable of the camera and the light source should rest on the table and should be kept on left side of the uh, of the surgeon left side of the surgeon that means from the left side of the table it should be uh, rest on the table don't hang them down this is very very important as because of the longevity and the uh, good functioning of your instrument otherwise the fiber optic cable will be di uh, disturbed and out of order within very short time the next rule rule number four introduce the telescope taking the advantage of the elasticity of ella this is very very important why why it is important we know there is fine uh, when doing fine work there will be fine tremor of the surgeon's hand and as in endoscopic sinus surgery we always see magnified view very fine uh, tremor will see coarse tremor or the operative field will be moving always so to make the uh, your hand more uh, rigid and uh, not moving the pictures uh, whole time so it is very important using the elasticity of the ally you can move your telescope like this way like this way please so your ally it's a cartilaginous structure mainly so you can move your uh, telescope and give pressure on the ala it will not be disturbed no problem then introduce the instruments taking the rigidity of the floor the floor of the nose is made by mainly bones and your uh, instrument always should go taking the rigidity of the floor the next rule the telescope and the instrument should not touch each other at any point the telescope and the instrument should not touch each other at any point never ever never uh, touch telescope with the instrument sometimes a, a crossover phenomena may be happened like this like this no never it cannot be done always same distance parallelly placed two instrument and uh, this should be act as a single unit both hand would 
go uh, far or come closer but two hand will move simultaneously not touching each other at any point for an angle telescope create a zero view listen carefully it's a very very important step as because most of the cases or most of the steps of endoscopic sinus surgery the beginners and most of the surgeons are using zero degree telescope but when you need to go inside the maxillary sinus you need to see the in total view of the maxillary sinus you need to see the total view of the frontal sinus you need to use some angle telescope so for using angle telescope it is sometimes difficult to use angle telescope for the beginner so what is the principle create a zero view create a zero view that means make your angle telescope as zero degree next rule the distance between the tip of the telescope and the instrument tip is roughly the same at all time about one or one and half centimeter always previously i stated these two hand will go simultaneously like this way and always the distance will be same one to 1.5 centimeter then use same instrument the next rule is use the same instrument for particular step don't change the instruments frequently try in a significant uh, in a particular technique so uh, just like some people like uh, a uh, backbiting force for doing ancinectomy some people like sequel knife some people like only prayers like this but whenever you are accustomed with a one technique just do it repeatedly for uh, gaining uh, accuracy next rule is have an aerial view of the part operated telescope should not lie too low what is aerial view just like seeing from helicopter you need to see the uh, inside the sinuses in total Whenever you are inside the maxillary sinus, you need to see the nooks and corners of the maxillary sinus. The difficult most portion of the maxillary sinus to visualize is the inferior lateral portion. The most lateral portion, the most inferior portion cannot be seen very easily. So that you need to have an helicopter view or aerial view to see everything. Otherwise, you will keep some sorts of lesion like poly for uh, anything else like uh, malignant lesion anything else so that the surgery is not proper then the ne uh, next rule never hold or pull tissue if you don't see the tip of the instrument if the tip of the instrument is not visible don't pull any tissue because you can damage some certain structures and endoscopic sinus surgery is a very easy way to kill a person uh, oh, within very short effort how the middle turbinate the attachment of the middle turbinate all of we know that in the skull base so that CSF leak is it is very easy just pushing the middle turbinate a little bit harder it will be detached and CSF leak will be there just go inside the uh, lamina papyracea and next rule never use the instruments above the telescope unless you operate on the frontal sinus in case of frontal sinus this is exceptional otherwise never ever use the instrument above the telescope then use adrenaline soaked goals Hello. if Hello. there is too much bleeding use the instruments to push the middle turbinate before you introduce the telescope if the meatus is narrow the less your scope fogs the faster you can operate what is this sometimes the meatus is that much narrow that you can't uh, do anything you can't introduce your uh, scope you can't introduce anything so uh, middle turbinate is to be pushed before you introduce any other telescope if the meatus is narrow and at no point Bring it here. this is the last and the most important one of the most most important issue at no point you should have a tilt of the camera image it can give a totally false orientation it is extremely important usually when we come back from workshop after this, seeing high-end uh, cases we feel happy but when here? we start doing basic cases we find it so difficult we what can is reuse, the problem huh? the main problem is we are concluding with this uh, slide that the main issue is hand eye coordination it is the bottleneck for the surgeons and not the procedure purse which affects learning curve so with this slide i am uh, concluding my uh, speech here and uh, uh, thanks everybody, thanks for your patience hearing.